All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to Grounded Episode 2. I'm going to be 100% I'm like nervous for some reason, um, but I'll get into the groove. Um, so at first, I'm just going to start this. Oh, you're going to hear echo. Oh, no, you're not. Wait, hold on. Okay, so uh, I, it might take me a bit to get my bearings. Um, so just a few things I want to go over first. Um, so Grounded is my live stream. I'm trying to do... Uh, every two weeks or so. If it gets really popular, we can go once a week. Um, so I'm going to start these off with just some Tesla news. Um, so if you're watching this in the future, you have something to listen to. And then once we get past that, it's just me talking to you. Uh, a lot of people have tons of questions about uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Teslas, Tesla cars, um, how they work, what to do with them, whatever. So uh, <laughs> I do, I'm do. i looking at the chat. I see you guys freaking out. Um, but I'm going to ignore the chat for now. And uh, so here's a few of the things that happened in the past few weeks with Tesla. So I want to start off with a thank you to Dan for the grounded name. I know he's here. Um, the name may change. I, I don't know. Don't be offended, Dan, if it does. Uh, but thank you because I saw it. I was like, that's a sick name. Um, this, I'm going to try to make this so it's kind of podcastable. So if you're listening to this in the future or you can't make the whole thing, maybe while you're driving, you know, just uh, put put this on and just don't look at it, of course. And you can listen to it and hopefully you'll learn some stuff and it'll be kind of entertaining. Um, I also want to thank Sam for the mic here. Uh, Sam Moriquas, look him up on Instagram. He's the one, the music you just heard and all the music in my videos, he does all the music. Uh, so thank you so much to him for the mic. Uh, my sponsor as well. Um, the Model 3 Part Shop. If you have a Model 3, they do make legit stuff. I really like them. Uh, and so that's why, you know, I allow them to be my sponsor. So if you need anything for your car, you can go to the Model 3 Part Shop. The website's, the link is in the description. Use the code Dirty Tesla to get 15% off anything on the whole site. Get some mud flaps. They're awesome. All right. So now that all of that is out of the way, um, I want to start with most of you probably know, but Elon Musk liked one of my tweets. <laughs> That's not exactly Tesla news, but it's awesome to me. Um, I saw the thing blowing up all day and I was like, it's just a random picture of autopilot. Um, and then Vincent on Twitter, if you know him, he messaged me and he's like, yo, Elon liked one of your tweets. Congratulations. And I was kind of panicking. So that was a lot of fun. Um, Gigafactory 4 is going to be near Berlin. We just heard this today. There's really not many details on it. It's going to be making the Model 3 and the Model Y. Um, okay, I'm going to start looking at the chat because I want to make sure the mic and stuff is okay. So give me some feedback on that. Um, but yeah, so super exciting. It's pretty funny that it's in Germany. A lot of other, you know, competition from BMW and stuff. Um, but we all know Tesla's kind of taking them all over. So uh, that's awesome. Um, 2019.36.2.1 just came out a few days ago. My video's up about that. Um, the one pedal driving is very cool. This is the first time we're seeing hardware 2.5 uh, doesn't have the same capabilities as hardware 3. They've always been the exact same. So I'm hoping pretty soon we're getting our upgrades. Um, Tesla's going to either have us come in or I really hope come to us because my closest Tesla place is like two hours away. Um, the other things in that update um, are the, the speed increase, the performance increase, which is incredibly noticeable. Um, so that's really awesome. Uh, Walmart has dropped their lawsuit against Tesla. So if you haven't heard, uh, Walmart had some fires on their roof um, with Tesla solar systems that were like installed by Solar City, And so they said they were going to sue Tesla. And Tesla's like, well, we told you you needed maintenance and you ignored us. And it was just kind of this back and forth. Well, they settled. Nobody knows the um, sounds good. Thank you. Yes, that's Ari, by the way. Um, so nobody knows what the settlement is, but... Yeah, so that's that's really good news for Tesla. Um, and then, okay, what, what do I have next here? Sorry, I have some notes. Um, okay, so I did want to talk about, I wrote some of these before um, the update came out. So it was originally 2019.36.1, and then it changed to .2.1, and that's what got sent out to everybody. And, and I wanted to tell you guys about this because this is why not everybody gets software updates at the same time. So there was kind of a nasty bug um, and I'm gonna copy and paste this into the chat so that, um, I'll wait a second, but so that you can read it if you want or you can just skip over it, no big deal. Um, but I read this post on Reddit where somebody had 2019.36.1, so only a few people got that. And it was a pretty kind of scary bug. Um, I might send this too early, but that's okay. Oh, it's too, well, okay, never mind. I'll link to the Reddit post um, in the description after this. But he basically said that he was on a hill 
and he was using that new hold mode, he put the car in drive um, and it was going in reverse, like down the hill. And he like almost actually hit a car or maybe he was going vice versa. He was trying to go reverse and it went forward. Um, so that's why we don't all get software updates at the same time. So, <laughs> I mean, I want them instantly, mo mostly because of course I'm making videos about them. So it's important to me, but you should be thankful Tesla does that test because that could be chaos. Um, oh, Ari's, Ari's leaving. Goodbye, Ari. Oh, no, he's just adjusting. Um, Oh, he's going to steal the show here, making a bed. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I wanted to share that with you. It's good that, that they do that. Um, just a couple more things really quick. Auto Park is the next kind of feature we're waiting for. Elon said one to two months um, in October. So any day now, right? Any day now. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. But that will be the last feature that Enhanced Autopilot has um, added to it. And then from there on out, any features added are going to be full self-driving only. Cybertruck, November 21st. Probably don't need to tell you, excuse me, too much about that. Um, but I am, like, way too excited. Uh, I'm so far from California, so, like, an invite isn't going to help me. But I, like, cannot wait, can, I, like, cannot wait um, to see what that thing has to offer. I'm just, like, kind of freaking out about it. Um, so that's everything I have. So from here... Um, I aim for these to be about a half hour. If there's a lot going on in the chat and you guys just want to keep talking, um, then we can go a little longer than that. But uh, for now, I'm going to kind of try to go through these questions and I will uh, answer whatever questions you have. I didn't really see too many coming through. What a job. Yeah. I. Uh, oh, what a photograph. Thank you. Yeah, that was just a nice sunset. Um, good evening. Sec sexy Tesla, S3XY. Uh, does Dirty Tesla do live streams a lot? Uh, yeah, I'm going to aim for this to be every two weeks. Uh, if it's popular, then maybe once a month. But um, I really enjoy this. It's so fun to get to talk to everybody just like live, you know, back and forth. Uh, <laughs> this guy like cannot make up his mind making that bed. Um, but they do take out of editing time. Uh, so I have to kind of consider that my time is limited. But But it's a lot of fun, that's for sure. Um, whip a Tesla song. Yes, that song is pretty funny. Uh, you're only 11. Oh, man. I don't know if you guys heard of the about YouTube. Welcome. <laughs> oh, Logan. Hi. Um, oh, that's not the Logan I know. Um, I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, YouTube is just doing all this weird stuff with, like, kids watching your videos, and I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, that's, I don't know. It's fine. Um I know. I see why you set up for five days. Yeah, I want everyone to know um, that it's coming up. Uh, I can't believe they don't use one. Uh, Pokemon, yes. We got, I'm going to – I was. I have a sweet space poster that I wanted to put up, but I don't have a frame for it. Um, it's like shows where all the satellites – not all of them, but a lot of the major satellites we have. It shows where they are in space, so that's really cool. Um, staying for the dogs. Electric Report. Yeah, I kind of like that name. That's like one of the only ones I actually made up kind of myself. I, I think you gave me one of the words or some people gave me the words and I stuck them together. Same headphones. You know, these headphones are fine, but I keep wheeling over this wire. Oh, okay. Here's the actual question. <laughs> is it better to have a lease or loan? And is it better to just pay retail price, hundred percent payment? Okay. Um, kind of a big question, but that's good. Uh, strictly from a financial standpoint, the best option is to get a loan for as much like and giving doing as small of a down payment as you can because the interest rates are pretty low and you'll make more money if you take like your extra money and put it in the stock market now there's a lot of caveats to that i personally did a pretty big down payment on my car and and my reason for doing that was if i have some kind i lose my job i can't afford the car whatever then i can sell the car the car will never be worth less than what i owe right so once i sell the car i can pay off my loan and then i'll also have some money left over whereas if you take out the full amount for the car and you have to sell it because of some financial hardship or whatever, the car won't be worth as much as the loan. It's just never going to happen. So then you're going to sell your car. You're not going to have a car, and you're still going to owe money. So it's just, like, not a good situation to be in. 100% um, payment, I mean, I really don't like debt. So if you don't like debt and you got the money to blow, then that's what I would do. But um, strictly financially, you want to take advantage of the low interest rate. Um, use this mic to game. It's, like, too big. It would get in the way. 
Yeah, I know. I want to get a mirrorless camera. I'm really still looking at the Sony a6400. I bought that and then I returned it because I didn't know how to use it and it was very expensive. Um, I always get 10 to 15 dots limiting my region. Uh, where are you living? It's going to take me a while to catch up in the chat, but uh, Akshya, where are you living? Because if you're, it's cold, that's, that's going to happen, man. My drive to work, 35 miles, and by the time I get there, I'll still have dots. I mean, there's not much you can do. You can precondition the car for an hour, but then you're wasting your money, so... This is so cool. I'm glad you think it's cool. It's very fun. I've never seen this before. Also, it has been cold ever. It gets to, yeah, three to five Celsius will do it. Um, I can't do the conversions in my head, but um, when I, anything below 70 Fahrenheit, so if somebody wants to convert that, um, I'll start to get limited regen. So that's that's perfectly normal. Everything's perfect sound and video. Good, good, good. Um, sounds great. Love your doggy. Yes, Ari is awesome. Twix is Twix is upstairs. If I bring them down here, they might fight. I mean, they play, and they're just really loud when they play. Um, I went to the doctor today. Oh, man, good luck, Darian. You can do it. Oh, this is scrolling for me. Oh, no. Wow, I'm very far behind. Oh, boy. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm catching up. Everything's perfect. Sound and video. All good. Okay. It's a weird... Oh, yeah, that's a weird bug. That bug was very, very scary. Um... So again, I'm glad. Elon just tweeted. Well, you'll have to tell me what he said. What time under 7 p.m.? Uh, last winter, my Model 3 rolled down the hill when I got out. I had to. Ro oh no! Because the how how is that possible? Because if you in the Model 3, if you put it in hold mode, so you just like hit the brake, but you don't actually put it in park. If you undo your seatbelt and get out of the seat, it automatically puts it in park. So I wonder how that happened. Maybe it just slid. Have you messed with OpenStreetMap and Smart Summon? Heard about that feature linking to OpenStreetMap, which will help with its routing. Yes. So people found out that for parking lots, Tesla is using OpenStreetMap, which um, I'm not that familiar with it, but like anyone can make an account and edit the maps, hopefully to make them more accurate. Um, and Tesla's using that for Smart Summon to navigate the parking lots. And what's really interesting is the updates to, to the, the routing are like, some people are saying instant, like within minutes, it'll make Smart Summon better. You don't need an update to the car. You don't need to even wait for anything. Um, so I don't know how true that is. I haven't messed with it at all. Um, I need to get on there, though, because a lot of roads by me have the wrong speed limit, and it's really annoying. Do the brake lights come on with harder regen? Yes, the brake lights uh, are come on according to G-forces, so I've heard. Correct me if I'm wrong. So as you slow and you have you know the Gs kind of pulling you forward, then um, your, your brake lights will come on. I live in Michigan, and how do you think about the snow? Uh, I have a video. Actually, I have a teaser ready for you guys. If you want a teaser, I want to see some stickers in the chat. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to do stickers, but I'll show you a teaser um, of me driving uh, a couple days ago. Yeah, two days ago when it was like we got like seven or eight inches of snow. And the car does great. The all-wheel drive does great. I just have the stock tires. I don't have snow tires. And it does really, really well. Uh, but autopilot is basically useless. P predictions for pickup truck name. I think it's Cybertruck. Uh, pickup truck is Cybertruck. I, th I think we know it. Um, I think they're going to drop the model. I mean, I know everybody, you know, model Y, model whatever. But Tesla is not a company that follows conventions. They just kind of do whatever they think is best at all times, um, even if it doesn't fit with what they're doing at the time. If it's better, they're just going to do it. So if they think Cybertruck is better than model whatever, then that's what they're going to do. Thanks, by the way, for your very fair and informative content. You are welcome, Rob. I will remain unbiased and uh, just be real. I mean, I whenever I post something negative, nothing's perfect, okay? And whenever I post something negative about the car, I get a lot of, like, crap for it. But I'm just being honest with you. I'm not, like, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating anything. It's just what I experience, what happens. So I love the snow we have. I hate snow. Get out. Uh, your dog is a rock star kind and a name. Uh, his name's Ari, and he is a whippet. What do you think about Chrome deletes? Um, you know, at first I thought they were... Sorry, I need to read the questions more clearly. I know I talk really fast. What do you think about Chrome deletes? No asks. <laughs> um, when I first started seeing them, I, pff, I thought they were awesome, and they looked really cool. But the more I see them, the more it's like kind of whatever, in my opinion. I just, I don't know. I don't really care that much. Uh, left lane. Hey, Chris. Hello, left lane. Uh, Adrian, is it better to have a lease or a loan? Okay, I answered that one. Um, how did the car handle the recent snow? It handled it beautifully. I, so I have two videos coming up I, that are already recorded 
Um, one is Tesla Challenge number 11, and it's in, in the snow. And then the second one is the end of that day. So on Monday, at the end, it's still it was snowing for like 12 hours or something. Um, I just recorded my drive home. I pretty much couldn't, didn't even have the option to use autopilot ever. Um, but you can see how the car handles, and it really, really well. Um, better, it would be better with snow tires, but that's okay. Smart man, it's always been what I do when I buy cars. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, we got... Whoa, free super chat. That's sweet. Except I don't like that it pulls me to the bottom because then I lose my spot. That's okay. I, oh my gosh, I gotta. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Uh, having a loan will help build your credit history. That's another good point. Um, if you need your credit history built, yeah. But I mean, I'm I'm kind of past that at this point. But DKS, what up? Can you talk about using and how to use the trip planner you used for your New York trip? Okay, my trip planner. It's called a, a Better Route Planner. That's literally what it's called, dot com. Just go to Google, type A-B-R-P. It'll come right up. Um, why is this $5 disintegrating? I don't like that. I don't know what that means. Uh, and all you do is you put in, uh, simply you can put in your destination and where you're coming from and what state of charge you're going to start with. And it'll tell you the best way to go. In my opinion, it's better than Tesla's because Tesla tries to make you drive as long as possible and then charge as long as possible. And I don't want to be stuck in the car for three hours and then subsequently stuck at a supercharger for an hour or even more than that. Like to me, that's kind of annoying. A better route planner, you can more easily space it out so that you drive for say two hours, stop for 20 minutes, drive for three hours, stop for 30 minutes, drive for an hour, stop, whatever. Excuse me. Um, so uh, a better route planner lets you customize it more. And the other thing, the huge, this is huge that Tesla's nav is missing. In a better route planner, you can put the uh, what charge you need at your destination, okay? So when you um, arrive somewhere and there's no charging, Tesla's nav is okay letting you get there with 5%. And like, if I'm going to some random hotel and I don't even know where a supercharger is or any charger, I can't get there with 5%. So I can tell a better route planner, I need to arrive with 50%. And then, and then you're good to go. Hope you come to the pickup truck unveiling. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited about it. Even though I am not a truck guy, most likely will be ordering one. Uh, I'd love to order one. I'd love to go, but I'm not going to get invited. But that's okay. Um, and if I did, I probably can't make it out. I mean, I'd do my best. Drove in snow with latest update today. Awesome. No issues, but only maybe three to four inches. I find the new hold mode actually helps in snow because it makes your regen more predictable. Um, okay, I need to... Okay, hold on. I'm going to give you guys a teaser in a second because you asked for it and I cannot keep delaying that. That's not fair. Um, drove in snow with the latest update today. Awesome. No issues, but only maybe. Oh, okay. Sorry. How was using the smaller charger rather than the normal one? That was terrible. I'm, <laughs> I hope I never have to do that again. People wanted me to repeat the challenge. That was one even. People were, I mean, not mad, but they were just kind of like, what the heck, man? The smaller charger's fine. And I'm, I'm just trying to be real. That was my experience. It was terrible. I hope to never use it again. I'm sure seven degrees outside tonight is going to be great for your car. Uh, yeah, my car's in the garage, but it'll be fine. Cold front. Oh, and with this update now, it charges to get ready for you to go. But I notice it finishes charging like super early. Um, cold front in Florida. Oh, 55. Yeah, I wish it was 55. Oh, my gosh. Axia in North Carolina. Man, I wish I lived there. Um, Adrian, I only drive 20 miles a day. Well, then you might get away with the wall charger. Um, okay, I'm going to pause here. Let me give you the teaser right now. Here it is. Whoa, failing. Look at it. It's still steering, though. It's still steering. It's still steering. It's still steering. It's still steering. This is really loud and annoying, though. I'm hitting the accelerator, but it's still steering. Okay, I'll take over. Okay, there's your teaser. I hope it was good. <laughs> um, did you pick up any diecast models? I ain't got money for that. <laughs> um, I would. I mean, they're cool, but no, I, I probably wouldn't buy that. Um, Tesla's will roll if you have it in creep. Oh, I didn't even think about not having hold mode. That's pretty funny. Video is on my Twitter from a while back. Uh, yes, tag me if you find it. I would like to see that. But yeah, I didn't think about creep. Tesla is a hassle to have in colder climates. Um, it can be. Yeah, uh, it's not. So in my experience, it's not a hassle. That's what I would say. You have way less range, but you got to remember you start full every day. So 
I mean, I don't really care that I have less. Right. I, I don't even think about it. Like I got home today. I couldn't even tell you how many miles I had left because I don't even look at it. I warm it up before I leave and you don't have to open your garage because it's not spewing deadly <laughs> fumes. Um, and then like maybe 20 minutes before I leave work, if I remember, I forget half the time, I uh, preheat it before I go to my car and then it's super hot and warm and I get home, I plug it in. I don't even really care. Um, try Disney plus in car. It does not work. I saw, and I don't have it. I don't know if I'm going to get it. Question. What motivated you to start a YouTube channel? And what is the hardest part of running your channel? Love the Michigan content. Great work, Matt. Thank you, Matt. This is a huge question. And, um, I want to make a whole video about this, but honestly, I am so backed up with videos. If you would have told me like, Oh, you'll have a channel specifically about Tesla and you'll never have time to make all the videos. I'd have been like, yeah, right. How many videos could you possibly make? Um, so what motivated me? Seriously, I love YouTube and I've been on YouTube like since before Google owned it, using it, watching videos. And I've wanted to make videos for a really long time. Um, and this is actually like my sixth or seventh channel, something like that, that I've tried that's actually gotten any traction. So all my channels before failed and I just never gave up. Thank you. Who is this? I see this $5, but I can't see your name. Thank you very much. I will get to the thank yous. I have to like make these questions shorter. I'm never going to catch up. Um, so motivation was I love YouTube and I just never stopped. Um, the hardest part, honestly, the hardest part is when a video doesn't do well. <laughs> um, like to be totally honest with you and you either expect it to do well or you put a lot of effort into it. It kind of like doesn't feel good. Uh, but besides that, I love doing it. I really enjoy it. Um, and now, like, to be honest, the money is a motivation and the money's pretty good, but, but you have to not do it for that because you're not going to make money at first. I mean, like I said, you think those seven or whatever channels I did made money? No, zero. You know, I've been, I've been trying to make a channel. I actually was a partner back in 2009, but that's the story for another time. Um, zero dollars from that. I'm watching on TV and don't see the chat. I don't suppose you could quickly read the question you're answering. Yes, I thought I was doing that but I will try, I will be sure I'm doing that. Dan, sorry about that. Darian, you've been hot. Darian, you almost got me there. Spoon your man. Uh, stickers. Yes. Relax. 8.5 inches here in Lake Fenton. Wow. We got 8.5 inches of snow. JR Tesla stock price is 350. Do you own any shares? It is. Wow. I didn't know that. Yes. I own not that many shares, like 15 shares or something. I mean, that's a lot of dollars. Don't get me wrong, but it's not a lot of shares. Um, Smart Summit is sketch as it ran a stop sign in a parking lot and the police saw it. Should you get a ticket even if you weren't driving? Uh, no, because in parking lots, stop signs aren't enforced. But it'll run them. It's just going off the maps. It doesn't see the stop sign yet. Have Navigator, Navigator and Autopilot changed lanes for cones? Um, I have had it move over for cones. I don't have it on video, but I've had it do that like in way, way older versions. So this new update is just showing you the cones like on the screen. It's always detected them. I mean, not always, but it's detected them for a very long time. Okay. No. Gave me 99 cents and a poop emoji. Thank you so much. Ronnie Stapler gave me a dollar 49. Thank you for the little dog. That's hilarious. Rob, Google gave me this free super chat money. And this is the only thing I've ever watched live on YouTube. So have some actual support. Thank you so much, Rob. That is like super nice of you. I actually did that for a Twitch streamer. I have Twitch prime or whatever it's called. And he was like, Oh, you have a free subscription that will pay me. And I was like, okay. And I just like gave it to him. Cause I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> Chrome deletes are just different. And some folks like looking different. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, they're not bad. I just, I thought they were really sweet. And now I just don't care to be honest. Um, but if all cars are Chrome deleted, then Chrome becomes popular again. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes. Um, I don't know if you remember, I used your referral code. However, still waiting on VIN. Oh, nice. Thank you, Left Lane. I do remember you saying that, um, but I don't know what your name is, so I don't I don't see it on there. Has anyone tried? Oh, from SLCEA7. Love the vids. Thank you so much. That is very nice. I always like feel like they're not that great, but people really like them, and I make them for you, not for me, so who cares what I think? Uh, has anyone tried summon from a parallel parking spot? I have not, but I can, I can do that. The bigger the donation, the longer it stays on the screen. Thank you. No, but I don't care. Even if you donate at one cent, that's super nice of you. Uh, is it easy to use a better route planner on the car's display or is it better to use? <laughs> um, so, sorry, I keep rambling through the, the questions. Is it easy to use a better route planner on the car's display or is it better to use a phone or tablet for it? So it actually has a feature where if you use it on the car's display, it can see your charge and kind of help you based on that. Um, but what I personally do is I plan out the best route and then I just take a screenshot of it 
and have the picture on my phone, which is like, sounds like an old person, but I don't know. It's easiest for me. Thanks. That's awesome. Heading back to North Carolina over Thanksgiving and looking to use it. Yeah, I would use a better route planner. It's way, way, way better. How do you like your S10 versus the S8? I love the S10. I actually didn't care to upgrade my S8. Um, my phone, he has about my, my Samsung. Um, but I, w I use my phone to make pretty much all my videos besides the GoPro. And um, the S8 started having a problem where the camera kept screwing up the focus. So I would have to, I would, oh my gosh, I would record something for like 10 minutes and the whole thing would be ruined. And I, so I upgraded the S10 Plus. It's amazing. The battery life is really good. The camera is killer. Wide angle. I use that so much. It's amazing. Michael, I love the new regen to hold feature, but it's cold and my regen is nerfed. It's super unsatisfying to hit my brake pedal. Well, what I've noticed is that this actually makes your regen a lot more predictable or your stopping a lot more predictable because you don't actually need regen. The the braking is kind of the same no matter how much regen you have because the car is going to use the brake for you. So I find this a lot easier. I have the S8 by me the S10. Uh, okay, maybe maybe another time. Man, that day was so terrible. Is it still steering? LOL. <laughs> yes, it was still steering. I know I was kind of like freaking out. Um, do you think you'll ever do a fan meetup? Um, <laughs> to be quite honest, I'm kind of awkward and shy. But um, yeah, I don't care. I mean, if we did like, we should have a Michigan Tesla meetup thing. I would like to do that. I think it's still steering. Interesting. Interesting. You both said interesting. Legend has it. It's still steering. Oh my gosh. Is this going to be my first meme? It's still steering. I just want to see that comment on like every video. Convert F to C, divide by, yeah, okay. Well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to do that while I'm doing this. Cool. Uh, that teaser was so beepy and awesome. I'm glad. There's a lot more to come. That video will be up tomorrow morning. Um, or subtract 30, then divide by 2. Oh, so you gave me the wrong formula. Uh, Alexander, miles of per or percent. I'm sorry I just saw this. Miles or percent. I use miles mostly because I need to track it for the channel and I want to talk about degradation and stuff. And that is an accurate predictor of degradation, to be fair. We only have three minutes left. This is going to go long. I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, and actually just past 25,000 miles and I, oh geez. Um, and I want to do a degradation update, but I just, I don't have time. Um, so I'll do it maybe 26,000 miles. Uh, and I will tell you how my battery's holding up. Here's a hint. <laughs> um, had same experience with the whiteout today in snow, the big red noisy icon. And yes, somehow it still stayed in the lane. Don't know how it did that, but I got nervous and canceled it. Well, you did the right thing. Snowflakes. I don't, oh, I don't like that emote. I don't know which emote you're talking about. I hate that I'm so far behind because I'm, it's hard for me to always know what you're referencing, but I'll do my best. I am also from Michigan. I have dual motor long range with 18 arrows. How did your tire do during winter? My tires did awesome. Snow tires would be better. I keep like, you'll hear me say that a million times in my videos coming up, but it's true. And I want people to know that I understand that, but the tires did great. Little did you know guys, Chris is on his way to being a millionaire. Uh, yeah, not even close. I will do a video about how much I make on YouTube if there's interest. Um, but yeah, I wish, um, dude, all your videos are awesome. Not seen a bad one yet. That is very nice mayor. Thank you so much. D low. Do titles change how much people will click on your videos? Um, so in my opinion, and I'm just one guy and I have less than 10,000 subs, so who knows what I know, but I don't think the titles are all that important. I think they for sure can help, but they're not going to make a break your video in my opinion. Um, how old are you? I am 30. Is the audio better in the partial premium interior or the full premium interior? I've never been in the partial premium, so I can't answer that, but I hear that the full premium is like amazing. I'm not that into audio, so I mean, it's good, but I don't really care that much. What percent of promised range do you get during the coldest winter days? Um, like the coldest winter days, like 50%, I'm going to say. It's normally not that bad, but it's possible. I follow a lot of Tesla YouTubers. I respect Dirty Tesla's content a lot. I've made a couple of videos myself, but it's mainly <clears throat> for friends. But I love the overall enthusiasm. It's grabbing. Thank you so much. That's very nice. Is the audio better? Oh, I answered that. Great content, man. Glad you stuck with it. Picking up my three tomorrow. Super excited. Yes, congratulations. That's awesome. What's the coldest you drive your Tesla in? Uh, whatever the temperature is. I don't care. Um, sorry, I just have to make sure that Stephanie doesn't need something. My watch is going off. Um, no. Okay. Uh, in the new update, it's... Oh, my gosh. Thank you. I need to scroll down to that. Oh, my gosh. You guys are too nice. 
Gideon, you said babies got to eat. <laughs> it's so true. Thank you. Just wanted to give you some love. Your content is worth it. Wow. Thank you so much, Michael. You are awesome. Burhan, I am sorry. I hope I pronounced that. Burhan, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Great videos. Here's $5 for car wash. <laughs> I am not going to use it. <laughs> if you need me to return it, let me know because I'm not going to use it. Um, <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to catch up, guys, I swear. Um, great content. Glad you stuck with it. What's the coldest? Yeah, sticking with it is the most important thing. If you're trying to make a channel, just don't give up. Don't give up. I have made plenty of videos that, like, two people watched. And it was discouraging, but, you know, that's the, – and the two people was, like, me and my mom. So that's the name of the game. Uh, the coldest, I'll drive it in, whatever weather. I don't care. Actually, the Tesla has an advantage. It won't not start. Uh, some gas-powered cars won't start when it's too cold. Not going to happen in a Tesla. In the new update, it's supposed to actually use the blinker and move over. Uh, yes, it, sh it should do that. You're talking about with cones. Yes. Congrats, Ice Age. You are going to love it. Yes, that's awesome. Not sure I'll be able to sleep. Uh, yeah, I couldn't sleep after I ordered it for like two days. Best purchase I've ever made. That's I agree with you. It's it's probably the best purchase I've ever made. Maybe my house is better because those gain value, but it's close. Is the audio better? Oh, I already answered. Don't you don't have to keep. I don't blame you because I it takes me forever to answer you, but I see that I'll get to your questions eventually. I promise. Howdy, Chris. Hey, Brian. What's going on? Use your referral code. Can't wait to get my LR. Congratulations. That is going to be amazing. Stash, I remember you. I've seen your name in my app. Matthew, thank you for answering me or my question. Watching from Iowa. Got fam in Troy, Michigan. What? That's where my mom lives in Troy. What do you think about aftermarket HUD? I don't want that, especially for new Model 3 drivers. No, get, over, get, get out of here. Um, I mean, if you want it, I don't care. You can put it in there, but I would never want that. And I got used to that thing on the right like in like two seconds so i don't think it's a big deal watching from saskatchewan canada what up pa teach <laughs> uh hello canada yeah i'm very close uh like an hour drive to canada maybe tesla meet up when they open the swartz creek supercharger that's such a good idea i would do that it's oh my gosh i should do that you're so smart it's still steering it's still steering. <laughs> yeah anyone care to explain the still steering thing oh i did a teaser uh, from a video and <laughs> the video will be up tomorrow morning. So you'll see, I just, you'll see, you'll see the video in the morning. Did you hear that Tesla announced the location? Yes. I started with some Tesla news and yes, they announced Gigafactory. Elon more accurately. He's so funny. I hope I can like meet that guy one day. He's hilarious. Uh, glad to see this in my feed, sir. Glad to see you here, Julian. I got 29 K miles. Wow. Thank you. Oh, spoonja man. Here's two dollars for the premium car wash. Oh my gosh, get out of here! Thank you, Mister the Sharky. Got two kids myself. This should help with diapers for baby and coffee for life. Love the content. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Mister Sharky. Actually, it's so funny. Stephanie never drank coffee before, <laughs> like a month after the baby was born. So now she drinks just just a tiny bit, um, and it helps her a lot. Um, you had a hundred viewers on the stream. Nice. Wow, we're at 112, 113. Thank you guys. That's very nice. Um, so. Just a recap, this is grounded. I start with a little bit of Tesla news and then I answer your questions about Tesla, whatever I know. And I try to aim for it to be a half hour, um, but there's so many questions I don't wanna stop. And it's fun, I like talking to everybody, so let's keep it up. Um, and it'll take me a minute to get to your questions because I'm behind. <laughs> you said babies gotta eat, that's so funny. I'd be interested to see that. I always like seeing those things. I'm a stats kind of guy. Yes, I will, um, I think you're talking about battery degradation it's coming did you ever have an iphone nope moving on <laughs> uh watching from maryland hello i'll be 30 in january all right sounds good uh can't wait for Cybertruck. i'm so excited you ugly person you better answer sorry i'm trying to play a prank but my mom on my mom but she doesn't want to look at the screen oh you, you want me to say that that's mean i'm not saying that uh michael again thank you so much Baran, thank you. Would having a Tesla truck be worth it for you? Do you need a truck for your line of work? Ma, no. Uh, I'm sorry, I keep mumbling the questions. It's a bad habit. I, As I stream more, I'll get better. Would having a Tesla truck be worth it for you? Do you need a truck for your line of work? I absolutely do not. But when I was deciding to buy my Model 3, funny enough, it was either going to be a Model 3 or a Chevy Colorado. I know, it's ridiculous. But... Um, Obviously, I got the, the Model 3. Thank you. So I'm so glad that I did that. Um, 
but the Tesla truck would be worth it because I live out in the woods and I am, you know, I got stuff to move and it would be nice to have a truck bed, um, honestly, but no, I don't need it, but I would like it. And since it's so efficient, there's really not any negative to it. I've driven both. The premium is definitely better, but the partial is still better than just about any other OEM sound system I've tried. That's good to know, Rob. Does this money go straight to your credit card? I want to know. No, it does not. Um, t uh, YouTube pays once a month. They usually pay on the 21st and they send it to, it's like direct deposit in your bank account. There's a large delay watching from Alabama. Hello, Alabama. The delay isn't that large, actually. I am just really behind. Like here, I'm going to type this in. Hi. I'll uh, say delay. There. Now you'll know what the delay is. It's really not that bad. I just I got to catch up. Charles, Google accumulates it into 100 batches to pay out. Yes, that's true. Here's $2. Thank you. Spoon Jamman, I am not. Spoon Jamman, I'm not going to. I'm not going to the car wash, guys. I'm not going to do it. D. All right. Sometimes can your Tesla run off of gas? No, unless you use a gas generator. I have a video about that, but it kind of failed. Um, I really love your vids. The fact that you are from Michigan makes them all the more enjoyable. I am as well. Keep up the great job. Awesome, Dan. Oh, you need a good credit score to buy a Tesla? You need a good... <laughs> uh, you should have one. You don't need one, but your interest rate will be stupid high if it's low, so you don't, you don't want to do that. Um... Sorry, large delay. You're the man. Uh, you're the man. Charging Chats. That's a YouTube channel called Charging Chats, who is also the man. What? I'm getting rid of this one. Get out of here. Um, we back Tesla message retracted. Don't, don't do that. Put it back. Uh, do. Do you need a good credit score? You want a good credit score because if your credit score is not good... Your, cre your uh, interest rate is going to be really high, so don't do that. Um, do you play Pokemon Go during autopilot? <laughs> no, I don't, but I, I don't play much anymore. But um, but I uh, sometimes play on my lunch. Uh, thank you, no. That's why you're here. Uh, you can... Here. Oh, what did I do? Okay. Do you need good credit? Pokemon Go. Thanks for the vids. Love the content. Thank you, Jeff. Still nervous? No, not at all. <laughs> Does it look like I am? I was only nervous for the first like minute. That happens whenever I give a speech or do anything live. Do you think you'll buy a cyber truck? Um, I mean, if I had the money, then yes, I would. Why is this guy? Okay, I'm. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Can you start over? No, I can't. Oh, I can click them and then it'll show me. Why would you give me five dollars? Well, now that he gave me five dollars, you should go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Uh, we back Tesla. That's what you should subscribe to. Do you think any of the concept renders for the Tesla pickup are accurate? Do you think Elon will take people by complete surprise with the unveiling? Love the content, sir. Keep it up, mate. Thank you, Julian. Uh, that's a really hard question because I don't have the renders in front of me. But yeah, there's a couple I've seen that I think are probably like with the big, big windshield coming up. That looks really dramatic. Um, I think that's probably pretty close but we'll see. Hello from Arizona. Thank you. My husband wants the truck. I want the truck. Uh, could we afford a battery replacement when the original reaches end of life? Uh, they said the modules are going to be between seven and $15,000 and the model three, I think has four modules. So you can answer that for yourself. My mom owns a Colorado. I hate it. You made a great choice. Also is the wife going to replace that Equinox with a model Y? Yeah. If we win one, she sure is. Um, What is this? I didn't delete this. What? It says I deleted this, but I didn't. Uh, from Charles. My mom works at Tesla, and she could... Um, she says the wheels are very smooth, and you definitely drive on dirt roads. Could you live in the woods? Yes. 25 seconds. It's not 25 seconds. Your dog is so cute. Oh, he's still there. By the way, test driving again and ordering the day after Thanksgiving. Yes, violin. Finally, you've been... Like, I know. You have, I've been talking to you a very long time about that, so congratulations. I hope you actually order it. Do you snowboard or ski? No, I hate the winter. From Battle Creek, Michigan. Hello. Got rear-ended by a teenager? No, three months in. Body shop. Have the car for over 10 days and likely stay there for 15 more days. Do you know service mode stop the battery drain? Service mode doesn't really stop the battery drain. It makes it so you can't control the car. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Great content. Thanks. What's your day job? I am a molecular biologist, and I currently, uh, I've done a lot of different things, but currently I make vaccines. I can do vaccine research. 
Michael, I feel like Cybertruck is going to be Elon's terrestrial version of his Mars rover concept. I kind of agree with you. You know he's made one. It follows with his futuristic armored ATV look, yes. Brian, dude, if I had the bucks, then I'd buy that Tesla pickup for you if you wanted. Well, that is so nice of you. Unfortunately, I don't have the bucks. Yeah, I don't think I do either. Oh. Sorry for the random D earlier. That's okay. Did you have pre-delivery jitters? I keep going back and forth on actually getting a Model 3. Yeah, I actually was very scared that I was going to regret the purchase because it's so expensive, but uh, it's better than I thought, which I I was pretty obsessed already before I bought it, so that's hard to believe. Charging chats. Ah, I woke up to my first update this morning. Can imagine that feeling will ever get. Will never get old, I'm guessing you were saying. It never gets old. It turned into, I can't wait for the car, to I can't wait for an update. All right, guys, I need to wrap this up soon, so I'm going to very get through these questions and then we're gonna be done um i'm addicted to your videos that's nice thank you i hope the tesla pickup truck looks great do you think elon oh what is what are you doing back there rac he's done too do you think elon is alpha testing full self-driving in his personal car absolutely he is um ban hammer yeah i don't know what that guy was saying i didn't see it but thank you no if the ford mach 1 has a range of 300 miles zero to 60 uh would you buy it over a model y would i buy a ford like awesome EV over a Model Y. Probably not, mostly because of software updates, and I'm pretty sure the Ford's not going to have that, I'm going to be honest with you. Do you think they will fix the dry steering while using Summon? Oh, like where it steers when the car's not moving? Yeah. Yeah, eventually, I think so. Um, oh, there's so many guys. Um, oh, no, I'm almost caught up. Um, I know this is delayed a lot, but I heard via Transport Evolved... That humidity can be a problem with charging and range. Humidity? I don't know anything about that. My prediction is front windshield is bulletproof. Yeah, it'll be nuke-proof like the semi. Friends don't let friends drive Fords. My last car was Ford Focus, you know, and it was great. Do you think Giga EU would be in Berlin? Well, he said that. He announced, like, somewhere around Berlin, so we'll see. Before I go, I just wanted to say I love your vids. Wish I could stay, but got to sleep. Good luck on your finals, Gideon. I hope I pronounced that right. Maybe all the Tesla short sellers are shooting at Elon while he drives the truck at the, out at the unveiling. That's funny. How do you suppose these cars will appreciate in value? I, they will not appreciate in value. That is such BS. And then he initiates SpaceX mode, and the truck flies away. Do you work at U of M doing your line of work? If so, go blue. I do not work at U of M, but we work with them on a lot of stuff. Do you think it's a good to buy an older Model S? I've seen 2013s for less than 30 k um, If you can afford repairs on it, then I think it's fine. I think it's probably a really good car. My biggest concern, I, I did the whole debate, like a lot of people, Model 3 new or used Model S. And I, I came to the conclusion of Model 3 for two reasons. One, I was going to get a five-year loan. And if I buy a 2014 car with a five-year loan, at the end of the loan, it's like super old, like nine years old or something. Um, whereas if I buy a new car, then it's only five years old. Um, and the other thing is like older cars like have problems. I know that Teslas have less moving parts and everything, but come on like the door handles screw up and the mirrors can screw up. Who knows? You know, the sensors, like anything. So I was scared of repair bills. That's why I didn't do it. You think there should be a parent mode for new train drivers, uh, given that Teslas are the safest cars in the world? There is, um, I forget what it's called, but there's like a mode where you can limit the speed and stuff. Funny story. I ordered my Model 3 at 1 p.m., picked it up 6 p.m. the same day. That's awesome, dude. When do you think we'll see a Tesla star in a movie, like a remake of the 1983 movie, Christine? I have no idea. <laughs> Nuke proof or your money back. Good night, friends and family. Goodbye. Uh, I tried to make... What is this? Uh, I tried to make that video today. It didn't work out so good. Uh, sorry to hear that, dude. I am in England. There are still nowhere near enough Tesla charger points around here to justify buying one. Uh, I that Steven said that. I literally never go to a charger. I pretty much, the only reason I go to a supercharger is because I have free supercharging and I want to use it. That's it. Um, have a good night. Thanks for the check. Bye. Cars will be cars. Yes, exactly. What's the next vac next great vaccination being developed? Also, are you going to trade the Model 3 for the truck? Um, we are working on, uh, what's public knowledge? RSV. There's no vaccine for that, so we hope that works. And then the other one that's super exciting is we're actually working on a vaccine for peanut allergy um, to kind of get rid of people's allergies to peanuts so that's cool uh i would trade the model 3 for the truck yes i would love your content and hope to see more this is makes excited for tesla in the future thank you 
That makes a lot of sense. I didn't really think about the age, especially after paying it off. Exactly. You're all cut up. That's it. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, this went for 15 minutes too long, but it was a ton of fun. I'm glad you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for the chats. Um, let's end this with the teaser. I'll give you the teaser one more time for anybody that missed it. Um, so I'm going to do this teaser and then I'm, I'm going to end the stream. So thank you so much. I will talk to you in the comments, like in the post, if you comment later. Uh, so have a good night, everybody. Enjoy teaser. This video will be out tomorrow, 9 a.m. Well, I don't know, maybe 9 a.m. Whoa, failing. Look at it. It's still steering, though. It's still steering. It's still steering. It's still steering. It's still steering. This is really loud and annoying, though. I'm hitting the accelerator, but it's still steering. Okay, I'll take over.